in a mid-game advantage, they'll just crush the map. Life Stealer and Vokal, they'll take too, line, too long to come online, but there's a oh, Whatever reason God. it is, they're not there, and it just feels like, uh -huh. you you know, at some point you can't make excuses. Is they going to roll in? They're going to roll in. an easy first blood. Get the first blood. Give it to Madara. <laughs> Matchups are when you have a reaction to him popping Firefly, you know? Did uh, did they change it where Pop Ult doesn't immediately just, like, stop you? Uh, when you pingo a roll up, yeah, uh, I believe that is still there. But the the timing is very specific. It's when you struck in lanes that they can't have kill opportunities for. Yeah. Uh, oftentimes that happens like, and then they they don't come to game when you do have kill opportunities at bottom lane. Chalice. Chalice doing a really good job here. Oh, he Boxy might just die. He might have just Boxy uh, and Boxy actually doesn't get the aggro off of him. He just he dead. Will just die. Tiger should ever go top, for example. Right. Because. You're not really gonna pressure uh, the life stealer, but like this bottom, uh, to his credit, I think is the right move. The main reason I think he's bottom right now is because of the bounty runes. He's gonna try and play for them right now. He does manage to pick it up and kicks away X Nova really nicely. Fortunately, there is gonna be the lucky shot proc onto him, and he's out of mana. He's gonna try and stay ahead. Another lucky shot. Slow is gonna be enough for. He's like a top four team, and Alliance have like a huge hill to climb. Yeah. Uh, as mid lane. They are sticking it out with two cores in this lane, and it's making things tough for Alliance, who keep on expecting that Chalice is gonna leave at some point. He just keeps on sticking around, getting more kills. They do manage to get a big kill. Make yeah. him quick. It's like this weird common misconception that you think because he has Ghost Walk, you don't want to gank him. Right. But why? He's, he's a free kill, in my opinion. He does not move anywhere. Yeah. He isn't go. Trying to hope that the stun will help Chalice get a lose their lanes actually pretty handedly. Oh, oh, nice disruption. That's going to be right in time. It goes right on mine. There's going to be a gigantic Sonic Wave from Mickey. It's landed on two here, and FY may be falling as well, unless there's going to be Baby, who managed to clean peacefully split up the bounty runes, but LGD set up to go for it here. Feeding things off with the Tornado EMP, actually sniping out that bounty rune. They are going to be able to get the EMP to drain out the Batrider, but they set too far. Managed to get a stun out, now the fall on Blasto as well. Maybe he's going to be caught. There's really no save because disruption was already used, but maybe Chalice is able to provide some comeback there with a shield. It's like 10 minutes in, he just casually hit the mango. It's Madara, most likely right. going to die here unless he just jukes by standing still. Really well done by Chalice. Change have uh, one disable that pierces through. Magic Meter need the roll in. It's gonna land, but there's already the rolling thunder out from Chalice. It's gonna run back into the Ancient Apparition, bumping into the Batrider before getting the swashbuckle to finish oh, the ball down here. This. They're both dead, and Taiga may fall as well. He's already got his ultimate out. It's taking X Nova down. He might be able to get a kill, but it sounds like he's just not making it out of here. As both Chalice gets run right on top with the swashbuckle. They're trying to make sure they don't all tick out here. As Chalice is getting a bit low, it does mean at like half HP, then cut down. There's no easy way for them to retreat at that point either. While that was happening though, they did take mid tower. Yes. At that like especially like Secrets game plan lately. As uh, nice they're gonna make silence if they can get the chain stuns here, they are just gonna throw everything they have at him. The ice blast will help finish him off. Really well done. Now. And this is gonna force that these cooldowns are are here, so they're just gonna go for it right now. Like, they might even just get a free play here. Oh, that is great silence led up by Tyga. There is gonna be the turnaround though. Chalice running around with that rolling thunder actually bumps into Mickey as he jumps in to try and finish off FY in the lower ground though. Boxy's doing a great job getting some control up on these heroes and getting damage over time. Chalice has gotta make his way out though. Boxy is gonna run into maybe here while he picks up the bounty rune. Maybe doesn't feel comfortable challenging that bat rider because he's seen the alliance just swarmed like that. That's where you reset what just happened at bottom lane. Yeah. Alliance has been the one for the most part in control of those bounty runes. Boxy in some trouble here though is throws a disruption just to make sure he slows him down and is definitely going to die. Yeah. <laughs> if we win five mid games in a row, it's like we won a game, right? Oh, I like that. Ice Blast trying to chase down Chalice, who is very dead. He is incredibly dead. But Madara wasn't dead. Don't make the same mistake. Don't throw all the disables, but they also gotta be a little bit careful as Tiger's actually gonna try and make this fight. But Robox has got strength here, but a tornado is gonna be able to separate them from Boxy's X Nova. X Nova so slowed down. Boxy's here as well, but so is all of LGD. And they just keep on kiting around Madara. X Nova will eventually take out to Taiga, but it's in the very similar situation. You know maybe he's not gonna make that same mistake twice. They are gonna be able to grab the bounty rune here and get a lot of disables off the bat rider. Unable to get the lasso off now. The rolling thunder is gonna be able to make sure that the Earth Spirit's not making it out either. Alliance just a full retreat. Agree with that? 
for oh. creating space for an invoker? I would say so. Lasso does manage to successfully grab him, so the Axelot is going to be able to get here in time. That is going to be Chalice Den. They oh, actually the don't manage to kill. They manage to get the slow, the rolling's going to miss, but they do get the dust onto maybe here. He's going to drop the meteor, hoping for a kill onto Boxy, but Boxy definitely dodges it. That is going to be a nice ice wall, though, slowing down a lot of these heroes, but the stun is going to be able to follow up here. Still a sticky name pump, but maybe X Nova can turn things around with Latch as well as the big Inkswell hit. It's going to be a lot of damage and the destruction there as well. Maybe he's not dead yet. And Alliance have now run out of damage unless Boxy can take him out. Out he gets him! He suicides right into the Invoker. He actually managed to get Exnova as well there. And now FY gonna be chased by an Ancient Apparition. But Dude, everyone's dying by right now. Mickey. Oh. Keep a boxy. Good it pretty quick. That was so super fast go back in. speed. Now he can't actually control up the lights either because of Lincoln. So that's why they're gonna go for the back line. Mickey Mickey split it. There's the Sonic Wave to hit on three. There's gonna be the Rolling Thunder disrupting things, but honestly the fight is already broken. It's just a question of how many heroes are gonna be found here on a deep into the tree is gonna be caught. They activate their BKBs just to make sure there's no disables out from the Invoker that can save Ame unless he gets inside of a creep. Okay, what do you do next? He didn't actually turn off his oh, radius. He's, he's so done. So he's ticking down. That creep is gonna die. They are hunting it. And he pops back out, silenced up. Alliance. They, they, they don't fully give up that high ground. They're still gonna stick here as multiple heroes and with Mickey actually going for it, they have maybe a kill. They've got him dead. Insania bursting out with the ice blast. There's no way that Alliance should be there as four, but they are and that is gonna lead to the kill. Oh, they managed to already break the Lincolns. Get the Lasso out, Light Slurs control. He's silenced. Silence. He's gonna be good bursted down. They do have the buybacks coming in with the Invoker throwing out that tornado. But he either forced the buyback from the Life Stealer, and if he doesn't have it, well, we're going to take at least one later rack here, maybe more kills. They do manage to get a good grasp onto these two, but a roll in from Mickey as well as Taiga takes both those supports out of the pool. And now, as the Life Stealer comes back, going. And you can see Alliance are not going to take a breath here, not giving LGD the chance to take a breath either. His child's going to get picked off. They do have Yule Scepter buying him a little bit of time. Swashbuckle over the side, hoping for Rolling Thunder, nice but silence. immediately silenced by Taiga. He knew exactly where the Pango was going. Some spells. He's still trying to hold that. They want to kill the Vision. That's up there on that high ground. Madra, they're going to start going for it now. But Mickey immediately just ignoring the line. Still going for the back line. See if he can pull up that Shatter. Even he is now dead. Beyond Godlike for him. X Noble with his Glimmer Cape is going to be able to get the stun on Earth Spirit, but surrounded by five of Alliance once again. Bavare. Get the word on the high ground, even if the sentry's there, it doesn't matter as long as they've got the vision for this upcoming team fight. They immediately managed to get the disable onto Boxy for the Batrider. Oh, oh, you got got Look at that! Madara so much damage as he makes his first couple of swings into the team fight on the Grimstroke. But now the BKBs are used. This is an opportunity for Mimi to make his big declarance as an invoker, but he almost whisked the tornado entirely there, and they continue to jump forward nice to here. Try. Trying to get this go for the back line again. There goes the Shattered Demon. Now they control up, focusing on that life stealer. Ame has a buyback, but the rest of his team does not. Oh, Chalice is gonna get caught. Taiga getting in front of him nice and eager. This is gonna be two lanes of Raxes. LGD. They might have just overstayed their welcome. Nice Madara. If they can get him low enough with this opportunity with the Sun Strike as well, he's so damn lonely. Do finally finish him off. FY managed to get that kill with the help of his own illusions. Boxy, BKB actually blinks the leg work of yeah. setting up these opportunities. And a lot of that is tough to be the initiator of oh, Boxy. Nice blink stun. Instantly getting the disable, not letting him get his BKB off for a minute. They managed to get a lot of damage out from Amy as well. Just keep on going with that rolling thunder. Controlling up the ancient apparition as well. Nice. It's gonna be two dead in the back line. They've already caught potentially Taiga, who managed to get in front of him. Ame got in front of him before the rolling boulder over to the cliff. They just stay on top of him now with constant bashes. Tries to go for another one. Does That's what LGD has right now. They're gonna be able to link the two of them to double the double fight with the rolling thunder on top of him. Ame immediately going for the spin, managed to get off his BKB, but the Master as well as the leash is just controlling him. They're not gonna be able to do much, and he doesn't have buyback on the spin either. Ame has his link, it's broken, but he's managed to get a bash, as well as that silence under the quad. He's trying to kill the Phantom as quick as he can. Taiga comes in to be able to help him out. The ice blast on through, and now it's gonna be Ame in trouble. He thought he had a kill, but no, you're dead. X Nova, he's gonna be wiped. Be careful, and... For Alliance, they also don't want to take that fight. Oh, but either team is shying away from it. The Blinken FY initiation, but an instant oh, Blinken return by Boxy actually goes back. And Taiga wants to make his initiation. He immediately goes for the Grimstroke, who's been causing him so much trouble with his ultimate. Now challenged with the Ice Blast off. This was his Scythe as well. He does have a buyback coming in, but the back line, look at that. Mickey managed to get the fear into the two of them. The fear into the lasso as well. There's going to be a disruption from FY trying to save Baby, but now he's in the middle of no man's land. A big cataclysm, but it's not going to do much as they all dodge out of the way. Finish up maybe here. He 
he goes down, four dead, no buyback, it's only Chalice who just runs in. He knows there's nothing he can do, but he's still gotta try, damn it. Five dead now. Be good, and that's why Chalice is gonna call it. And that's one way to get your first win. As PSG LGD. And they fought to the end, they try to make a game of it, but Lions were just so on top of it. And two believers I'm sure we'll find in the commentary booth for game number two. Easily or efficiently uh, really struggles against Lina. And like Lina can just... Oh, well that thought. Oh, do manage to get the nice they got brambles. That hit taking Snowba in the back too, so not only do they... Like, you're gonna have to ask a lot of uh, Ame in this game, I think. Oh, Chalice is just Chalice, what? Slacks yesterday. <laughs> don't, talk to the, don't talk to me about that, man. <laughs> uh, Alliance does have a, a nice little setup here for their tri lane. Telekinesis stun into Brambles. Brambles is going to help protect them there from the blood right that was laid out. Uh, actually going for the secondary stun rather than uh, the Shadow Run for the extra damage. They're going to try and finish off the Wisp here before he can jump away with the Tether, and they've got him. That's twice. Taurus. Bring the creep wave over. They're gonna fight over the bounty runes. This is a very important fight that they're gonna take because, I mean, this wisp is oh, ready to support. They could be in trouble. The telekinesis is tossed back with Monero coming in, and again the double brambles hit. Tag is pretty good at this. He's gonna get the extra stun here on X Nova. He doesn't have the stick to heal him up a little bit longer. He doesn't have the shadow to protect himself against Ame. Monero is gonna be able to clean up that other support kill, but they're both kind of low here, and Ame just keeps on swinging at them. But gonna look for Fy. To uh, bounce himself ahead. And then they go on the Blood Seeker instead. Now that he's already used the tether, he can't help out Ame. The Blood Rite is going to be able to silence them, but they were just throwing out physical damage at Ame. Might be able to finish him off here. They just need one more hit, but FY gets the second tether out in time to start healing Salving. And now Taiga's going to get a bit low here. The Shadow Realms for the time being, they are going to be able to get a really beautiful Storm Bolt to finish off X Nova. They will go down the silence onto the Dark Wolf, but Ame really wants to kill Amato. I thinks better of it. Decides to go over the squishier support, but with maybe coming in another great brambles from Taiga. Actually intercepts the OD, but he still managed to get the imprisonment. Dude, this should be the first kill for BSG LGD. But they aggro trying lane. Chalice is going to oh, have a 1v1, that's okay, okay, they're going to try and switch things up and move the support down here, but Boxy immediately just spears the Sand King to the tree. Now Chalice does have a level of Sandstorm here, but Boxy oh already bought himself God. a dust, Chalice! No. He's in trouble, he's going to be brought down by the face boots of Boxy! A spear comes up, one second, not going to go for it, instead X Nova, you can spear him to- or this uh, mid lane and the bottom lane have gone way too well. Especially this bottom lane is they're gonna make a go on the top. Throw all the spells out, but before the silence can land on them, Ame, the delayed stun will be enough to finish him off. As Madara gets the kills, and he's gotten on the same king. Might get another one here as X Nova. Getting gone Trouble on here, the again. Brambles hit. And that is in front feet. of him. X Nova's gonna have to weave his way through, make sure he doesn't get caught, but still, the ranged attacks are enough. And Boxy X. Ame is level 6. This would be a huge backup kill here, is Insania. Rupture immediately just throws out the You're gonna go straight for the Blood Seeker. Oh, man. oh dear. Burrow Strike with the. Okay, the reload K. Okay, this should be enough to be able to kill Boxy, but the lane is gonna come and try and blow up the OD. They do finally finish up Mars, yes, but the OD has now died. Insania makes his way through with a Burrow Strike. They do manage to get an epicenter out, but the Sven is certainly tanky enough to be able to deal with that. Now the God Strength pump. He just rips through that one. That's a triple kill for an Insania and the Fear. Oh, the Tiger. He knew exactly what was going on in that corner. He was under attack. Smoking. Consania really going for it here. The Burrow Strikes is going to be in position for the Telekinesis to hold long enough for the LSA. Laguna Blake. Dude, Boxy does have his arena though, and he's going to try and spear him to death. Whoa. He actually gets stunned, but his Burrow Strike ends on the other side of the arena. That's why Madara tries to go for some cleave hits. Instead, he's now going to go for the Disruptor. Brambles out, keeps him held in place. Long enough for our carry to finish off this support of LGD. A Burrow Strike on a two. LSA, that's going to miss a good, clean exchange there from Chalice, who gets out. This is long enough for Ahmed. He now come in and clean some kills. Boxy tried to go for the TP out. Denied by maybe with an imprisonment. Ame making sure they do actually get this kill on Boxy because there's nobody nearby, but yeah. Weapon center. Is that going to be enough to kill Insania? It will. That's going to worry burst strikes in the trees. Either way, you're not getting it. Yeah. They're going to go for the smoke here, though. It's Taiga running real offensively, but he's going to get comes that epicenter. And oh, 
the Lugo to play out. They're trying to finish off the disruption. He will take out for the Brambles. Mickey is quite low. They do have that uh, Bloodseeker trying to chase after him as well. He's going to pop the Shrine just to make sure he has enough HP to finish off Mickey with a Blade Mail. They should be able to do it, but inside the arena, they're getting bounced around like pinballs. And Rodder is coming in straight from the throat. The Spear into the wall to finish off the OD as well. Ame's so damn fast. And they're all so low, but Ame doesn't actually feel comfortable enough committing for so many of these kills because they know the danger. Madara in a corner with a God Strength that's going to turn around but won't have enough HP to survive. And we know about Dota is. They do have vision here. Bob the Spear is not going to latch onto the tree. Boxy doesn't get the clean initiation that it really wants. He still has the arena though. Now that he's been ruptured up, he might need to use it here, but he gets glimpsed back and brought to his doom. And that was the BK to do something like that, Boxy. A quick blink backwards. The Chalice is able to follow up here. Pull him back in with a glimpse into the Static Storm. Don't let him get the chance to get out that arena. They need to try to focus him down, but the Disarm on the OD is actually slowing things down considerably. But Alliance is not looking to bail this fight out. They're going to lay a stake, and they should be. Boxy just now coming here. back up. Madara tries to make his jump in. Immediately, there's going to be the imprisonment. They do have the arena. Grab oh, the two nice supports here. The Spear into that one Seeker. He's going to be in trouble here. Pops BKB going to be held safe by FY, but now it's Mickey who's in trouble. Trying to get away from Madara, but the physical damage is just too much for him to handle. LSA has to clip some BKB fades away on the Blood Seeker. They're followed up with the Sword Bolt as well. Meanwhile, they managed to get the Terrorize onto Chalice, so he pro strikes through the leadup, but he's hit by the Shadow Realm. Swing FY. It's just an awkward situation for them without the Hex as... Oh, this is a big pickoff with Boxy coming in from the side to finish ED with his LSA. And now that smoke has been spoiled. Alliance going to try and sandwich in here, but the rupture shot is laid off Boxy. Boxy puts himself into a corner here. Now throws down the arena. They try and initiate with the Storm Bolt. Instead, they do manage to get FY, but he's going to be saved by the imprisonment. Now the lead is in trouble. Oh, no. So much intelligence being going into that OD. And the BKB is worn out for Boxy, but maybe it's enough for him to be able to catch FY here. And it's barely live with the spear. Modern is still going for the back line, but he gets glimpsed away. X Nova is going to be able to survive as well. He he throws down this static storm to make sure there's no stun. And now the support's gonna get caught. His boxy's gonna fall here. Tiger's getting cleaned up. Here comes Ame zooming around the map. He just might make it. The wind falls are gonna find him eventually here. Chalice does too. That's Rhines. Oh, oh, yeah. yes. And then a gun go quick with the arena jump from Boxy. Minute to nail the OD. They're trying to protect him with the Wiz. He tries to go for the relocation. He does not have in time. And there's no buyback either. Ame is now Lotus Orb ruptured himself as well. They could go for him if they want to, but Insania is going to take the time to head back to base and heal. They're going to wait for the Wiz to come back in. Okay, that wasn't quite the spear timing you wanted, but there is going to be the Yules to stop that tether. The epicenter. Oh, they're to the side to do with the epicenter pro strike on it too. That does a lot of damage, but Ame still low enough that he can't actually follow it up. Sandstorm out. Chalice is decent tanky, but against all four of Alliance here, they're just going to spear him back by just doing enough damage to make sure Alliance can't go for more. That gives you at least the reset, but it looks like they're going to go back in Ame. Oh, oh no. no! He can't die here like this! He's going to be controlled up at the time. He's looking for side Right click, right click. Right -click. Series long. You show a hero, they get a kill as Taiga. The blink initiation, blink fuels, brambles, curse crown, and bye-bye disruptor. Now Dark Will may be in trouble here. Does he buy back too? No, in fact, that's Sven, but once he gets an armor upgrade, it might help Boxy. Sees an opportunity to get the OD, but it blinks away. This time, this time, maybe was fast enough. Come on, man. That guy's maybe. Oh, okay, force out the BKB. Oh, they're going to catch... And they're still going to catch maybe this Dark Blue. Does manage to get out the Shadow Realm, then it's going to be ruptured up. Uh, okay, just keep running forward with that Lotus Orb and see if they can get him with a Scythe, but that is still a spent. You can't actually beat him down. He's still at the Aegis as well. Now the OD has to imprison himself. Mickey is going to sit on the side here, see if he can set off for that one. But Ame, make sure to run in, help protect maybe. Maybe he's actually trying to deal with Boxy right now. Just drops his open oh, Drake. He's the the rupture. Boxy is going to be able to get the Burrow Strike on through and finish off him. Finally, the Mars dies. Yes, but Madara is just beating down Challenge. It's going to turn on Ame as well. They're trying to boost the travel in. Look at Mickey. He cuts off the retreat. He's going to be able to find the disruptor as well. PSG LGD on him and waste time, but not quite kill us. Oh, but Bob's going to just have uh, different ideas. He's got the hard initiation onto the Wiz. He's going to be lane of barracks. They know all they have to do is hit tier fours. Eventually, Chalice will pop up his head out. They'll cut it down. They'll spear him straight to the ancient, which they're about to destroy. To 2 0 LGD Alliance had a rough start to this tournament but this this is a great comeback this indeed. was impressive like let, let, you know let's just get it out of the way uh they were not